Hey guys, Miss Sainelli here, and welcome to a new series. <laughs> I am delving into all of the classics. It is retro month, apparently. Um, and I'm gonna level with you guys. I've never played this. Donkey Kong Country is a is a series that I pretty much skipped out on when I was a kid. I started my Donkey Kong uh, journey with Returns. Uh, and obviously I also played Tropical Freeze on the channel as well. So um, I have some experience with Donkey Kong Country, but it's all of the modern stuff. Uh, the original games I've actually never played. I mean, maybe not never. I might have played 10 minutes on someone else's copy when I was like a small child, when it first came out essentially. Um, but I genuinely don't have a whole lot of experience playing these games. And I've always thought that was kind of a travesty in and of itself. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out for the very first time. I know a lot of the music. Um, I, I love Donkey Kong Country's music. Um, even this this theme, I recognize it immediately. Um, but as for actually, you know, playing the game, I'm not super familiar. Uh, so this is gonna be interesting. Um, and I, I figured, you know, I loved Returns so much, I might as well uh, give this a go. Kong's Banana Horde, okay. Uh, we are out of bananas. We don't have bananas. So th this this feels like a classic um, A classic Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. That's gonna happen every time I play anything on the Wii U. I swear uh, So we can do that We, d we just roll Okay, I can throw I can throw Diddy That's fine Okay, so we do have the Kong letters. I recognize this from Returns. Um, I'm honestly not going to sweat getting them all. Uh, because apparently in this game they are not really necessary for completion or anything. They are just, uh, extra life fodder. So if you get all four Kong letters, then you get an extra life at the end of the stage. Um, uh, which I may end up needing. <laughs> so, I'm definitely- I'm definitely gonna end up needing it at some point or another. Shrug. Uh, but... In, by and large, I'm not gonna sweat about, like, showing all the locations of XYZ thing. Please, oh my god, this vulture is something else. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna kill that. Uh, we do- we do have that. I'm ge I genuinely don't really know what that is. Uh... How do I pick this up? Can I pick it up? Oh, I hop on it. Okay. Wait, is this, is this Rambi? Well. Yo, I'm not gonna do well at this. I'm so sorry. Oh no, this is, this is gonna be, I'm gonna have to get used to this. That, that's, by and large, that's what this is gonna end up being about. Um. What? Hi? Yes, I have. I have ostrich. Oh, the ostrich can kind of sort of fly. Okay. So I have like a minute or some such to essentially get as many of these things as I can. Is that what we're doing? Like, what is this? I didn't think that, you know, dying would, uh, would help me out this much. I also don't know exactly what this is supposed to do for me, but... But I'm getting something. I'm just going back and forth. This is probably gonna end up being like, extra lives or something. Oh, I get an extra life per... Uh, per 100. Cool! So that's like a minigame. That's neat. I need- I need lives. Okay. Okay, there we go. Much better. Oh, rolling, rolling. Okay. Now, we have Rambi. I'm gonna like not 
just immediately die, please. Oh, hello! Uh, okay, so this is a secret area. Um, I did look this up, so apparently... And this is kind of strange to me. Um, apparently what counts toward 100% is, uh, is how many secret areas you can find? Apparently that's it. So it's like if you find the secret areas, then you then you get Is this another one? Okay. Uh Okay. M more? Oh, I get ostrich. Okay. So if we find all of the secret areas in the game, then that counts toward 100%. Apparently. You, you don't even have to, like, win it. You just have to find it. And that, that counts toward 100%, which is, which is strange to me. I'd figure that it would be, like, you know, the Kong letters or collectibles. But no, it's, like, literally the bonus areas that you can find. Um, and apparently, and I think this is kind of cool, you can tell which ones you've 100 percent it by the exclamation point at the end. So, jungle hijinks we are done with. Uh, Ropey Rampage, we clearly have not found everything in. Um, I would like to try to find them all. I would like to, but, uh, from what I understand, um, this game can be hard. This game can be pretty hard, so if I'm struggling, then I'm not gonna hold myself to it, if that makes uh, sense. Um, but I will do my best, and I, uh, if I feel confident in a stage, then I'll go in and I'll grab, uh, the bonus area, you know? I'll, I'll do my best on it. But, uh, no promises, per se, because I, I'm legitimately just, uh, experiencing this game for the first time. Uh, so what do I get if I already have a Diddy? Nothing. I get nothing. Uh, okay, so I got the rhino. Okay, wasn't there, like, another place, like, over here? Oh, man, though, this music. Ooh. Frick! <laughs> I thought there was a... I thought there was something down there. Okay, okay. I gotta be a little bit more careful. It's weird... Experience experiencing these classics when I'm older. It's kind of like I feel I feel almost as though I should have experienced this a long time ago, but it's like now it's almost like now that I'm older, I can appreciate it a little bit more. Ah, uh, but at the same time, I do feel as though in some way I am missing out on some of the nostalgia factor that a lot of other people get with these games, but uh, I guess it is still a valid experience to come back and be like, this is what this game was back in ye old day. This is what uh, Returns was was emulating, right? And I love Returns and I love Tropical Freeze. Those are some of my favorite games. Uh, ooh, okay. I'm I'm scared the, of the TNT. The TNT is uh spooky to me. Armadillos are okay. The TNT can't hurt me. It's just there to help. I see. Okay, I feel like this is just making me uh this is like pre preparing me for. Swinging from from high places Because we're definitely gonna get to points where it's just like we can't We we can't uh Have a safety net Man, I know that this game was praised for its uh for its graphics Ooh, I know that this game was praised for its graphics uh, back in the day, uh, and I do have to say it is a oh, very pretty game. Mm. Oops, it is a very pretty game. It, it looks 
phenomenal for SNES. I wonder if I have to use that TNT to, like, you know, break anything for bonus areas, because I haven't found any bonus area here. And I almost feel as though I'm supposed to have found one by now. I'm also, like, tearing through these armadillos. <laughs> I'm a little grateful that I played Returns because, uh, I, I feel as though- it's- it's weird, I almost feel like my, uh, my start in this game is going smoother than Returns. Because at least, even though, yeah, Returns isn't, you know, it isn't Donkey Kong Country Returns in the sense of, like, this game, the- a lot of the controls are the same. Because I remember when I first played, um, Returns, I was- I didn't know about, like, the rolling jump. And that tripped me up for a hot second, and I... <laughs> I really should have known. Okay, come on. Whoop! And dead! Oh, I'm gonna hate bees, aren't I? I am absolutely gonna hate bees. Well. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's... spooky. Alright. Okay, these jumps aren't doing me any favors. Okay. Got that. Now there's a bee coming up, which I can just jump right over. I should just, like, jump it immediately, I think? Because even the last time, I feel like its, it's prime position is, like, on the first pass. Like that! Yeah! I got it. I got that. Oh, it is no longer... It is no longer spooky. Can I get up there? How do I get up there? Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, that works. Okay, I need the lives desperately, please. Yes. The lives are helpful. Okay, so I, I found, like, no bonus areas in this. Um, it was- I mean, I, I'm about to say it wasn't that difficult, but I did lose a fair number of lives. Maybe I could go in and see if I could find some secret areas, but we'll see. Ooh? Okay, well, I got- I got the, uh, the rhino. Here we go! Uh, I feel like the... The ostrich was a little bit easier. Cause I'm about to fall. I mean, at the same time... I'm still getting about... Yeah, I got about the same amount. Three lives? Look at that! Excellent! Alright, that wasn't one of the secrets. I just got three of the, um... <laughs> three of the, uh, rhino... Uh, rhino tokens. Okay, apparently it's, like, right here? It's right after the O. Yep, there it is! <laughs> Yikes! Man, that's, uh... Obscure. That is so obscure. Um, I'm not about to go jumping down into random pits, mind you. Uh, so I will continue to look up the bonus levels after I finish a stage. Uh, I got- I got the- I got, uh, the N out of Kong. Oh, 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 I got launched! I got to skip that whole thing! What's this? It's a tire? Huh. What do I do with this? Oh, I can bounce on it! Oh, that's kind of neat! What's this for? Other than, you know, bouncing on things. Oh, well, uh, bye! Ah! There it is! Huh! So right after the jumps, uh, with the bees, we can jump in here. Oh, what does this mean? Point? 
Oh, am I supposed to guess which one it was? Oh, I meant that one. Oh, Diddy's throwing a tantrum. Me too, Diddy. Me too. Now, my question is whether or not I can just, like, exit out of the stage. Actually, I don't think I can. Uh, because if I pause, then it just, it just pauses the game. It doesn't even bring up a menu. Oh, little Diddy can jump a little bit better than, uh, Donkey Kong. Uh, K-O-N-G Kong! Man, it's been a while since I've done that. We have ten lives again! So we're, we're getting up there. Uh, we have Cranky's Cabin. I don't think that this is a, an actual stage. But uh, we'll we'll save it for the next episode anyway. So uh, this has been fun. I'm I'm excited to finally experience the original Donkey Kong uh, game. Uh, I've heard so many good things. It's a beloved classic for a reason. And uh, so far, like just from these first two stages, they are the platforming is spot on. The physics are great. So I'm, I'm looking forward to experiencing this along with you guys. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Messianella, out.